Stacking rocks on rocks on rocks? If it was only that simple. What up all my fish tank ninjas? What we got right here is an update. An update on beauty. Beauty. The 90 gallon reef. And we're going to go over aquascape. And we're going to aquascape my aquarium. My aquarium? My reef tank aquarium. What you know about that? Oh! So in this video, we're going to go over what kind of rock I got, how I got it, why I got it, how I did my scape, why I did my scape, and just a little bit more that I feel like throwing in. All right? Y'all ready? Set? Go! In this sexiness, I decided to go with dry rock. Now, there's reasons for this, and I will be making an easy reefing video on live rock versus dry rock. But until then, let me just sum up why I decided to get the dry rock. I did it because my last system actually crashed due to pest. All right, there's good and bad for everything. And unfortunately, the bad outweighed the good for me, in my opinion. Such bad experience that I just told myself that whenever I set up a new reef tank, it's going to be with dry rock. Now, keep that in mind. It's just... A matter of preference this this is my first time using the dry rock and I like it it's just it's been easier for me to aquascape now let's get into what kind of rock I got I went ahead and got the Pukani dry rock not be don't get your mind up in dirty places and stuff I went with the Pukani dry rock and it is not an easy dry rock or live rock or any kind of rock to find at your local fish store I called around all over Houston Tejas and could not find this nowhere I actually had to revert to Craigslist and I was fortunate enough to find a young lady who actually used to own an aquarium store now she had the hook up she had crates on crates on crates of this stuff at a very great price and on top of that this stuff was clean okay the main downside to Pukani dry rock is it takes forever to cycle because it's so dirty it's so coarse that the the sponges and all that dead stuff gets into some crazy places and you just gotta wait till it just gets off of there because that stuff's not cool and that stuff takes forever to cure all right but the benefits of pukani and the reasons i decided to go with this above all else is because the way they fit together is more like kind of puzzle pieces all right when you stack these together you're able to create what looks like almost one piece of rock I wear as if you get like the Fuji and such, it ends up looking like a pile of rocks unless you do some crazy aquascaping and use putty and all that good stuff, which I don't do. It it just doesn't look as nice, in my opinion, as the Pecani. On top of that, it is so coarse. The coarseness of this rock allows lots of little areas for your little beneficial uh, organisms to go into, make a little sexy time, make more little beneficial organisms, and everyone is happy because when those things do good, your tank does good, and that's what I wanted. On top of that, the light weight of the Pukani rock is just astounding. Normally, there's a rule one pound per gallon of water, and it, with the Pukani rock, you cut that in half at least. I only put in about 30 something pounds of lye rock into this aquarium. All right, just think about that. The price is going to be a little bit more expensive per pound, but the amount of rock you actually need pound-wise is just ridiculously lower. So in my personal opinion, I saved a ton of money on this. And the thing is, it was so affordable that I actually bought 20 pounds more than I needed just to be safe so I had options. That's how much less this stuff was. All right, when I decorated this tank, I waited till it was empty and that's when I decided to start putting the rocks in very strategically. I wanted to create almost a tapered look to the back uh, back right corner. And then I wanted to create an island in that open spot in the front right corner. Now, I did this, and I did this when all of the I did this when all of the rock and everything, water, all of that was out because I wanted to create something secure without having to epoxy everything everywhere. Now, I did go with a shallow sand bed on this tank. I was debating between that and a deep sand bed, and you guys can expect an easy reefing video on that also. As you guys can tell, I'm just easy reefing everything up. Guys, welcome to the final scape, and I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I love how it has that tapered look. I love how there's a little island. The, the amount of caves, the slope, the fact that 
There's so many places to put corals, yet it's so open. I wanted to keep this as open as possible, maximizing the amount of space for corals as possible so that I can just have the happiest tank on earth. And I think that this is exactly what was in my head and I can't believe that I did this. Guys, check out how everything looks like one piece of rock and you cannot really tell where one rock starts and one rock ends. Now is the waiting game. All right, the rocks are in the tank, it's filled up, the salinity is right, everything is right. Now you gotta turn off those lights, cover the tank, because we don't want that nuisance allergy to get going. And be patient, it's gonna take anywhere from about a week to four weeks for your tank to cycle, but we're gonna go over that in an easy reading video also. Guys, that's the end of the video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think about the scape. Let me know what kind of scapes you like in a reef tank and don't be shy about it. Also hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I got videos coming at you two times a week and I promise next Sunday is going to be an easy reefing video. A lot of y'all wanted it this Sunday, but I wanted to do a little bit more research before I gave it to you guys. Also, don't forget about my fish tank hooligans. I'm talking about my homie Fishy Drizzy, the marine dude, and my boy Danny Alano and his new discus from Hannah's Discus or Hans Discus or however you say that. Guys, also, don't forget to do amazing things like find Carmen San Diego. And until next time, tank like a boss. Your boss?